Welcome to the 2016-2017 Kennedy High School Student Handbook. In this video, we will be covering important highlights in the student handbook. The purpose of the handbook is to ensure that Kennedy is a safe and respectful school in which all students succeed by adhering to the systems and policies outlined. Although it is not necessary to access the document at this time, you should know how to find the student handbook. Soon you will find a folder in your Google Drive with valuable information in it, including the handbook, calendars, and schedules. In the meantime, go to the Kennedy High School website, scroll down to Academics. In the blue highlighted portion, you will see the student handbook. Start your day off looking and feeling good. Clothing and accessories deemed disruptive to the learning environment are not allowed. There's no pretty way to put it, so here we go. Shirts must be full length, no bare midriffs or exposed navels. Clothing must cover undergarments, underwear, bra straps, boxers, or undershorts. Keep your shorts and skirts at mid-thigh length. No clothing with inappropriate phrases or imagery. Do not wear sunglasses, hats, or hoods. Get into school. In order to park your vehicle in the Kennedy lot, you must display your permit by hanging it from your rear view mirror. Without this verification, you will be ticketed. You may purchase a permit for $90 per term or on a daily basis in the main office. If you ride the bus, you have the responsibility to conduct yourself in an acceptable manner, know and obey all school bus rules, and accept the consequences. Your eligibility may be revoked for violating conduct policies. If you didn't have a chance to grab a bite of food before leaving to school, stop in the cafeteria. From 7.15 to 7.45, free breakfast for everyone will be served. As always, please dispose of your garbage in the proper receptacles. At Kennedy High School, we have adopted a Hall Sweeps program. The goal of this program is to protect instructional time from interruption. Uh, attention staff students, this is a hall sweep. Any student in the hallway needs to report to the cafeteria at this time. Again, this is a hall sweep. Hey, hey, why you running? Man, it's a hall sweep. Excuse me, staff and students. It will be a hall sweep. I repeat, staff and students, it will be a hall sweep. Get to class now. Hey, where you going? I gotta get to class. Hey, why you running? I gotta get to class. Man, it's a hall sweep. I gotta get to class. Grab the books on my locker and my ID badge. Like, hey, where you going? I gotta get to class. Hey, why you running? I gotta get to class. Cause it's a hall sweep. It's a hall sweep. It's a hall sweep. Trying to dress proper Singing our hallway Spotted Dr. Hopper Yelling our hall sweep The kids walking past Got four more minutes Passing time to class No ID badge Or books in my bag So I headed to my locker To see what I had Got the books in my bag So I'm steady on my way I hear Hey buddy It's my homie Torrey And my homie Lil Ray Man we 
chat all day. But when it comes to hard sweets, no time to play. And I'm on the first floor, gotta get the dose trays. But I can't get around all the kids in my way. So I took the back way, and I'm almost there. Then I had to see the new girl fall down the stairs. So I helped her up quick, and I jetted to class. Made it safe in my seat, never late to class. Like, hey, where you going? I gotta get to class. Hey, why you running? I gotta get to class. Man, it's a whole sweep. I gotta get to class. Grab the books on my locker and my ID badge. Like, hey, where you going? I gotta get to class. Hey, why you running? I gotta get to class. Cause it's a whole sweep. It's a whole sweep. It's a whole sweep. Essentially, at the final bell, teachers will direct all students to enter the classroom. After the door is closed, no student will be allowed to enter without a pass. Those students who are in the hallway and do not have a pass will report to the office. Students must contact their parent or guardian by phone in order to receive a pass to class. If a guardian cannot be reached, lunch detention will be assigned before receiving a pass to class. In addition to your classroom teachers, there are many adults in the building who are here to support you and your education. Our principal, Mr. Beaton, Assistant Principals, Ms. Krenz and Ms. Campa, the Activities Director, Mr. Hansen, and Ms. Rice and Mr. Hostetler, the Deans. Kennedy High School has an excellent counseling staff to assist you with your goals and career plans. In addition, they are available for confidential consultations. Take a look at the list to determine who your counselor is. For exa example, if your last name starts with the letter A to DI, then Ms. Zoller is your counselor, so on and so forth. If you have a need to meet with him or her, make an appointment with the counseling secretary, Ms. McMurchie. Perhaps you would like to discuss your class load, daily schedule, credits, or college applications. In addition, we have student advocates who are also here to help you succeed. Their names are Ms. Flores, Mr. Simmons, and Ms. Muhammad. Their offices are now located in the attendance office. The student body has elected two co-presidents to run your student government. Hava Bouchard and Hannah Hartley work together to voice the needs of all to provide a well-rounded learning and social environment. The goal for the school year for them is to make Kennedy great again. Schoolwork and grading. Teachers will communicate with you in terms of formative or summative types of assessments. Refer to syllabi with your teacher's policies. Imagine putting together a puzzle. The individual pieces are formative assessments. They are the practice and small parts to the whole that help build the full image. The summative assessment, whether it is a paper, project, or test, is the final, complete puzzle. Consult the handbook for more information in regards to the grading scale. Hall passes and appointments. During the class period, obtain a pass from your teacher if you need to use the hallway. If by chance you have an appointment or a need to leave the building, your parent or guardian should contact the attendance line. A leave the school pass will be delivered to you, but before you leave, sign out in the attendance office, and when you return, sign yourself in.
If you are not feeling well or have been injured and need to see a nurse, consult with your teacher to obtain a hall pass. District policies require that students taking medications must leave the medication and instructions with the school nurse and not carry prescription drugs on their person. No medications, including over-the-counter drugs such as aspirin, cold or cough medications, and inhalers can be given without physician and parental authorization. There are ways to earn recognition for your academic achievements. Academic lettering. Each fall, students in grades 10, 11, and 12 will receive academic letter if their cumulative grade point average is above 3.5 following trimester 3 of the previous school year. A sticker will be placed on the back of the ID cards of academic letters that will earn them that will allow them to attend all athletic events at Kennedy High School and the Bloomington Stadium for free. There is also the Golden Torch Award given out each trimester. Two students are chosen by each department. These students represent outstanding achievement or improvement within that area. Protect your possessions. If you bring your valued belongings to school, protect them from mistakenly or purposefully from being taken. Did you make a bad choice? It's possible that you commit an act that is against Kennedy's code of conduct. A new item added reads, Taking video or a picture of another student or staff without their permission is not permitted. Using social media of any kind to bully or harass is not permitted. If a student is found to be using their electronic devices to harass another, they may lose the privilege of having this device in school. To see a full explanation of infractions and consequences, consult the student handbook. After the school day, there are many clubs and activities you can participate in. Involving yourself allows to make new friends and have a little fun. There is a complete list in the handbook, but here is a small sampling. If you enjoy the game show Jeopardy, try out Quiz Bowl. The math team solves world problems through formulas and equations. Students in Guitar Club create musical experiences. Travis Birkenstock, 38 tardies, by far the most tardies in the class. Congratulations. <laughs> so unexpected. I, uh, I didn't even have a speech prepared. Uh, but I would like to say this. Tardiness is not something you can do all on your own. Many, many people contributed to my tardiness. Uh, I'd like to thank my parents for never giving me a ride to school, the L.A. City bus driver for taking a chance on an unknown kid, and uh, last but not least, the wonderful crew of McDonald's for spending hours making those Egg McMuffins, without which I might never be tardy. Recognition in all classes is vital to ensuring a quality educational experience. Regular class attendance instills self-discipline and helps prepare you for the world of work. Absences affect student academic performance. A student can never fully replace the learning experience when absent from class. Take responsibility. If you do miss some class time, touch base with your teachers to find out how to make up the instruction that you lost. Once again, the Kennedy Attendance Line is 952-681-5002.